DSLR cameras are incredible for a variety of reasons. But one of the most sought after features with these camera bodies is the ability to change its lenses whenever you want. You see, the lens on your camera is what really makes all the magic happen. And once you know how to control your lens, you can really start to make incredible videos. But before we get into the different types of lenses, let me explain something that's built into every camera lens, and that's called aperture. Aperture is controlled by the opening and closing of multiple blades inside of your lens. Each step up or down is what's known as an f-stop, and it's represented by the f-stop number on your camera lens. Just remember that the higher a lens's aperture number is, which again is represented by a number with the letter F in front of it, the less that this lens will be able to see in low light conditions. And the lower the aperture number is, the more that lens can see in low light conditions. Now when you're purchasing a lens, the F number on the box is telling you the lowest possible aperture that you can achieve using that glass. So as you can imagine, the lower the number, the better it can see in the dark and the more expensive this lens is gonna be. If you take a look at the link in the description, I put together a list that should help you decide what aperture you might wanna consider depending on the environment. Now, let's talk about the different types of lenses and what kind of results you can get from each one of them.